Okay, today we're going to be replacing the hood lifts. And this procedure is probably very similar on many vehicles. So if you're having the problem you see here where um, you have a vehicle that's got the hood lifts that you don't have to hold up with the rod, but they're no longer strong enough to hold it up anymore and it falls, uh, we're going to show you how to take care of that. So step one, extremely important step, and I'm just using a, I'm just using a slat, a bench slat to hold the hood up while I'm working on it. Uh, just to make sure it doesn't fall on my head. And it wouldn't fall too hard on my head, but again, I'm not in the mood to get hit today. So let's take a look at the problem. Always replace these in pairs, by the way. So this is what we're looking at. This is just a little hydraulic shock. And obviously there's one on both sides. And these tend to wear out together. Um, they are high pressure. So don't try to take them apart or work on them. If they fail, uh, just take them. Just take them off and replace them. It's pretty easy. So what we have... In this case, it's a 12 millimeter, and this is a 98 Lexus ES300. So really, it's just uh, it's just this one bolt right here, and then also uh, the second bolt that attaches to the hood itself and has a ball on it. Uh, the new lifts typically come with with that side as well, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So we'll start by just taking out this 12 millimeter bolt, and that'll release the bottom side, which is pretty easy. And now we come up here um, to the top, and the top is a 12 millimeter, at least in this case as well. You just need a wrench to get in there, and um, you can you could try to pop the uh, hydraulic um, cylinder off of it before you work on it, but really there's no need to. And I didn't want to accidentally bend or dent the dent the hood, so I'm just gonna take the wrench. And uh, this one was a pretty tight, and you'll notice they have Loctite on them. You may want to consider going back with a Loctite as well. Especially if you're noticing them loosening up after they've been on there for a while. So I'm just going to take this off. and Not much to it. So now we can see the old one. Here we go. And, uh, and here's the new one. Obviously I always like to check things and make sure they're identical before I get started to reassembling. Uh, this is an extremely easy procedure I would expect anybody to be able to do. So the ones I bought also came with the replacement ball. You certainly don't have to do this, but um, I figured why not. New parts, might as well put it on there. I did not use Loctite. Um, I'm going to make sure I check this and make sure it's not loosening up. And you would certainly notice if it loosened up. So just put the new ball in. And the bottom side is pretty easy. It's got this little bracket that's got a tab on it. And here you can see also the side that snaps onto the ball. It's pretty simple. I'll show you that in a minute as well. But down here, not much to it. You're just going to stick the tab. There's a hole right next to the, to the right hand side of the bolt, of the bolt hole. So you'll just stick that tab in there. And then it's ready for you to put the bolt back in and tighten up. Again, this is pretty simple. I would expect almost anyone, anyone with a, with a wrench or two and some sockets would be able to do this procedure. Probably the only thing is just to make sure you did prop the hood up. And then the last step of the procedure is really just to get the other end on and it is there's nothing to this you may have to uh, with your hand push or pull on the cylinder to get it to the right length and I was able to do this without any trouble if not you may have to with one hand lift the hood up or lower the hood down to get it to line up um, but that's about it once you get it to so that the hood height is perfect for the uh, length of the cylinder at that moment um, you should be able to get on here with basically just one hand um, it wasn't very hard you'll see it snapped right on and that's about it nothing to it anybody should do this and save yourself a little bit of money and now when you work on the car you don't have to worry about it popping you upside the head all right thanks guys